this in the somatic consent dynamic we're talking about the direct route what is it this all the central inflow and the indirect route is so when we do something when we're touching somebody else and feeling ourselves so that we want to have a respond from the other person this is what we differentiate between the direct and indirect route and most people me including and i guess most of humanity have been using the indirect route as their default so we have learned that that is more important what is coming back than how we feel ourselves and in the first place as infants and children you know we do that to create a sense of belonging and we learn to do a certain action as well to be loved and we learn to co-regulate ourselves with this indirect route so that when we can express how we feel that the response that comes back assures us that we just feel better co-regulation is nothing wrong or bad and we all need that so we all need to learn to co-regulate with our caregiver that we actually feel safe so we all need that but i think we learn to to still put that on default that is more important how other people respond to us than we actually feel so co-regulation in the neurological way speaking guides in a in a way of growing up and being an adult into being sovereign and, and autonomy that we can self-regulate so we learn to self-regulate through co-regulation and that creates an independency from other people in a way Mm -hmm. so that we are in our autonomy so what somatic consent is doing with this entire work is we creating an embodiment of the dynamic of the sensory inflow of the feeling ourselves as the default so we make the choice to put that first mm -hmm. instead of putting what comes back first yes please Bas. can i add something to that working with gabor mate he said if the mother specifically the mother, if the mother can't self-regulate, the child will not learn to self-regulate down to the development of the dopamine uh, reward system in the brain. Yeah, it creates addictions and dependencies. And this yeah. is how we learn to substitute ourselves. What we do literally here with the direct route, we're just creating new logical pathways. There's a dynamic in here that calls, um, uh, um, how is it called? Give me a second, I just lost it. Um, I go. come on come on what is it what is it it is um, I have it I have it on my tongue ah. is this a stupid place to keep it when the mirror neurons kind of firing uh, new uh, neuroplasticity neuroplasticity neuroplasticity, <laughs> neuroplasticity it is <laughs> this magical word but what happens is we're just creating neurological pathways that we can learn to feel when we touch that we can self-regulate by making connection through our skin through our touch by learning to verbalize permission first and saying hey may i feel you may i touch you may i hug you may i may i may i regulate myself on you within your limits and when we just learn that we go through this entire emotional um vulnerability of all that what we have not learned as children and all of a sudden we're creating that pathway of just like well i can do that on my own and i can help other people to do that on their own so we empower people to empower people to empower people to empower people we're creating literally a snowball avalanche of empowered people there is this saying that um that the opposite of addiction is not sorbity the opposite of addiction is connection when you replace addiction for dopamine and connection for oxytocin is when you have an oxytocin related engagement you don't need the dopamine related addiction anymore you know what the beautiful thing is that i appreciate in this work that we don't want to learn from a book you know because it's just it doesn't bring anywhere and um, that you have your life experiences and wake up into your own truth and own autonomy that makes you actually an expert that the world needs so when you stepping into this power of yourself and have the experience coming into autonomy 
you are capable of creating the reality that you want to have with people you want to live with. You can invite people in your environment and create with them a community as you wish to have. This is how I welcome and invite and inspire people to join that what we do here so that everyone can create the community that you want to live in with the people that resonate with you. Create friendships and create connections, create relationships that work individually for everyone. This is what I want to say. The world needs you with your experience. You just have to activate your skin. You have to feel it yourself and you have to do the action for yourself. Radically, selfishly, learn to self-regulate by making physical connection for yourself. Direct route, bang, end of line. There's, there's no substitution for that. And we all need that. Me included. I have one more thing that came in my mind that is somewhere on the back burner. And I, I think that what you said, Buzz, about um, if the mother has not learned to self-regulate, the child cannot learn to self-regulate either. So that when, 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 when the mother is creating a co-regulation and using their child to, to, to regulate themselves, then you have a lifelong dependency between the mother and the child, even if the child is an adult, that the child feels constantly responsible for the mother or for mm. the parents to make them feel better. So it's, 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 a, it's a complete... Um, uh, hooked in situations and you know as um, uh, Buckminster Fuller said you can't fix an existing system by by repairing it you have to create a new one that make the old one obsolete the new one that makes you the old one obsolete is just you have to create this neurological pathways they allow you to self-regulate that you're getting independent from other people who still want to make you dependent on them this is what freedom is do we actually see you at the year training? So, sounds, so, like sorry, a yes. training like sounds like a yes to me. <laughs> so, you know, the, the interesting thing about that, when I say that we was, I, I want to create the environment where you want to live in, is that mm. I, this is what I want to provide. You know, when we do all this online work, what we're doing here, that's just good. And I just give a lot of um, uh, ideas and, and, and kind of the engagement. But that's as well the thing, you know, that's like, everything that I share and everything that I say is as well, you know, I just giving menus and, and, and I'm giving kind of ideas and, you know, there's a book, there's the app, there's the videos, but this all still substitution. It's just like, you know, on one time we just need to eat. We need to eat and we need this qu high quality food. And mm -hmm. when I speak about high quality food, it is this, you know, coming together with a group of people where we trust, and where we can create this environment. And when we know, you know, as you have done the consent lab facilitation, you have now the tools in your hands to invite people and play it in a two hour thing that you can create the environment you want to be in. And here comes the thing as well. I, I've learned that myself the hard way when I'm holding the spaces, it's just difficult for me as well to be in the dynamic where everybody else is in. So as a space holder, this is not the, 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 the space I can uh, be connective. So I have to create my own connections where I can be, um, um, where I can relate and feel myself. So, so this is what the year training is in, in, in my idea is. So, so invite you guys, just let's come together and do some real stuff here and create a real community that you can create your own community.